Hey everybody, we're back for another box opening video. Today we're back in the living room because the game room or the game game center is a little screwed right now. It's it's, it's a little little busy. We're, we're um, getting it all ready to go. So we've got two boxes here to start us out. This one back here and one over here. We've got our special guest Lemony Vengeance back yet again. Um, I think this is your first box opening video with us. I think so. Yeah. So um, you know how this works, right? Yes. You get boxes. Yeah. You don't know what's in them. I have probably forgotten what's in them. So that's how this works. Go ahead and just start opening. Have fun. On oh, the words of the famous game, it's a secret to everybody. All right. So I know there's at least one PCB in here, and I think there's a bunch of posters. I don't remember. Uh, and. This, that's why I wasn't going to just do that. I, I could have done this myself before a bunch of people showed up, but particularly in order to properly display posters on on camera, you kind of need you need two people. Yep. Ooh. So. Speaking of boxes. All right. So this was stuff that I could have shipped in June, but I just didn't because there's already too much stuff in June. I had the, the container box opening to finish up and, and all this stuff. I think a lot of it was just a lot more efficient to, um, there's packing peanuts in there, isn't there? Nope. Okay, good. I hate packing peanuts. Yeah, me too. But, um, yeah, no, there's enough stuff this month to, to really like go big, so. Okay, let's see what egregiously large flat thing I bought that required this stupid box. Wow. Looks like posters. No, it's not. It's probably not the posters. It looks. It's, I don't remember if I got a standee or some some art or something. Oh no, I know what that is. Okay, if I know what this is. Okay. And I have to find a way to fit that in the game center now. I think that might be all that's in this box. Scotty, you want to take a look? Make sure there's nothing else in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So this is. I don't know. This is kind of a stupid purchase. And after seeing the box that it came in, probably. It costs more in shipping than it's worth. But, uh, yeah, they are standing. That's a lot of them. No, it's just two. Just two? Okay. Yeah. All right. So these are Guitar Freaks V6 standees. I've never seen them before. Oh, wow. Ugh. This was one of those things that I, I just hate to see someone post into discord because it's like i'm already bidding on it i'm not gonna <laughs> some of these things i'll back down on and let others take but like this one i was i was pretty set on i don't really have a lot of guitar freak stuff to display in that that section of the game center so i picked these up i don't know how these how these work i have to unpack these and uh... guitar freaks v6 blazing these are probably the bases for them. Or this attaches to... I don't know how... I don't have to figure this out. Maybe we'll figure this out and come back to this a little yeah. bit later. This is probably like a, a black piece like this on the bottom and then this on top with each of the logos, so... Ugh, and yeah, this is super stuck together. Is that is that supposed to be or? Um, I think I, like, that one might I think be. this is supposed to be stuck to this. Yeah. Yep. And then this. Oh, these are this part goes too. in up top. Yeah. Right here. These things are filthy. Very dusty. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know what? We'll we'll figure out how to set these up later. We'll come back. Oh, when, when we get them in, a, in the game center, we'll take a look at them. Throw that, that box is empty. Nothing else? Cool. All right. Well, I guess there. let's open up the other one. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that's mega dusty. So we've got our second box over here. This is probably all the, the, the front of it. I think this box did hit. I did wait until it hit close to the the $2,500 limit or something like that, but a large chunk of it is that one PCB. <clears throat> that 
that's probably... Did I get another standee? I don't know. It's a pop of some kind. I don't remember. This is... Souvenir... Original something or other. Let's see what this is. Oh, sample text. These are sample text player files. That's right. Um, tell you what, I'm not going to open these now either. Once I get them set up in the game center on display, I'll I'll show these as well. Okay. This is some sort of pop. Oh, you know, this does have part of the Love Live stuff. So yeah, it might be a Love Live pop. Okay. Well, let's see. It's like the the really significant Love Live banner they have did not come in this batch. They'll come in the next. Oh nope, that's I know what this is. Yeah, this is um not it's oh that's written on there. It's the reflecting Polza ones. Yeah. So I don't have a place to display these on the cab yet, so or around the cab. But I will. I'm trying to be very careful with the uh, cutting. Let's see what else we can get. So. Oh yeah, the bottom of this is just tons and tons of posters. Ooh, that's gonna take a while. Okay. So here, I'm not going to open this all the way either, but go ahead and pop the other side. Yeah, well, you know, I also have stitches in my finger right now, yeah. so. <laughs> so anyway, reflect beat arts. Um, I'll eventually find a place to put them. I, I have I have UB Festo props out by the, the cab there still, and I have no idea where to put those. I have no idea where to hang the posters or anything yet, so. <laughs> we'll get to it. Ongeki Summer Marquee. So I don't have this one yet. Um, I have a red. I don't have original, but um, I'm going to put that out by Ongeki. These yeah, look a lot, like, I think almost all of this is stuff that's going to go into the... This looks like speakers. Oh, yeah, so this this actually is of significant interest to us. These are denture to go speakers and the, the shakers that go in the seats. Yeah. Uh, and these are important because these are the same shakers that are in the groove stage, which is a part that we cannot source. Um... So anyway, it was cheap, and I, I picked this up as a spare. Someday, you know, it's, it's going to come to use. Right now, it's not, but... I'm not going to unlock those. I'll just throw those in the warehouse, and uh, eventually we'll do something with them. This is a pine figure from Bomber Girl. Now, all Bomber Girl merchandise is unreasonably expensive, and eventually, now that I've, I've got two Bomber Girls in the game center now, so time to start buying Bomber Girl merchandise to put on display. Oh boy! Bunch of money for some big old bitty titty girls. Hide your kids, cause they she coming for them. Look at the look at those titties. It's not my thing, but you know, you know I'm. I gotta I gotta make it make it make money, make it look good. Empress um catalog from probably from like a JPO or something like that. Uh, this would be like the. Ad advertisement that they give to an arcade. I've got a bunch of Empress stuff out right now. I've got like, I actually have an entire mm -hmm. like stock envelope of um, like the flyers they gave out to people as well. So I've got, I've got a bunch of Empress stuff still. Um, that will go in the game center. Some more Love Life, pop. Love Life Pops. Yeah, I'm going to open these up while you're pulling that out. That's like, low, I think that's a shower curtain or something. Well, if you want, you can open it up all the way. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but. I, I have, there's too much Love Life stuff to ever fully, you know, like put it all up in an arcade. And um, if you've seen the pre even, even the previous Game Center video I did, there is so much of it up throughout the arcade already. And like, we're just getting started. There's so much more other awesome, rare shit, tapestries and whatnot. So. Just yeah, those like are curtains, the regular curtain. curtains, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, like, I'll put those up somewhere. I don't know where yet. I could use more curtains right now. I still have one set left of, like, the really fine Evolution ones to hang up somewhere, but, you know, that'll hang up somewhere. 
So these are just some character some hanging things. We'll just hang these on the ceiling somewhere. There's, I think, six of them total. So I think they, yeah, they close. They're supposed to close like that in, in triangles. So and we'll just hang those over over the ceiling in the arcade. I won't open the other one. Maybe we'll we'll do a walk through then uh, when we're done. This looks like a banner. Yeah, this is a Love Live banner. If I remember right, unless it's something else. Oh no, this is a, a Bomber Girl banner. Mm. So oh, yeah, I guess it'll hang up by Bomber Girl. This is, a, I believe, a Grim Aloe one. A lot of posters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven posters. I might have you start like getting those boxes open so that we can just knock them out as quick as we can. Okay. Yeah. So there's Grim Aloe. It's not a super big tapestry, but. Yeah, if you want to start popping those, yeah. open this up. This is our PCB. And this is a Death Smiles PCB. This is the one that I mentioned on on Discord. That was yeah. like, I don't know why it was so cheap, but like it was listed as you know for sale after repair or something like that. Oh yeah. Um, so you ended up so getting I wonder, it. Yeah, I ended up getting it, but I wonder if um, if someone had mentioned like, I wonder if it was they got turned off because. It was oh yeah, Connor. Connor something. was like, yeah, yeah. I wonder if people were. Uh, upset that because it was it, it repaired so i'm kind of curious to see what it looks like oh, oh. the it rhythm poster for yeah. the ds yep so that's the last one i think that's the last one i'll put up in the game center i have to find where my black one is and put that up too so there's just the art set uh pcb kind of fell out here So let's see how repaired this was. Well, so it looks like these chips are a little, a little something grody. It looks like, I don't know, I wonder if this just got, ooh, ooh look at that. It might, it might have gotten really toasty somewhere there. You can see some, it looks like burn marks on the label itself. Maybe but, somebody um, put the JAMA harness on upside down. I don't know, who whatever. It looks fine. If it works fine, then, you know, who cares? Uh, exactly. It I, I'm never going to get a uh, Mega Black Label, so... Then I'll settle for this. Gosh. All right. Here. God, we should two-man any of these and as not to bend them too nope. much. Oh. It's a bright memory poster. This is... Uh, I forgot what size this is. This is not B1, and it's not B2, and I don't have frames for this size, if I remember right. So this is just the Bright Memory campaign poster. Mm -hmm. uh, got it. Just, just keep going. No. I'll take care of this. Okay, cool. You, you do that. Because other ones, these are going to take forever. And here's the cap. I have a whole nother half of this to do in, in a couple of weeks whenever I ship the next package. Right. We have okay. another knife or a pair of scissors we can double up on this. So this one is definitely B1. Oh, this is the, the festival. Uh, flip it around. Right. And there we go. So I haven't decided yet exactly which uh, which posters are going to go up by my mind. I have my mind milk to put up, but I know there's going to be more space. Um, See, I just picked up, they, they were all convenient to pick up at the time, and uh, so I got a bunch. Okay, let's see which sides, there we go. This is a Love Live one. I don't have any of the Love Live posters yet, so I picked up a couple of them. I think a lot of these were off of Mercari. So this is a just the regular one, it's got the Sumafol version down there. Uh, there was, I think, two or three different semi-like generic ones that that came in. And again, I have no idea how I'm gonna do 
all of these, but we'll see. Maybe I'll pick and choose. And I think I think we're at the point where, you know, since people are starting to come tomorrow, a lot of this probably won't go up. There's another Love Live one. These are uh, going, are these going in frame well enough? Yeah. Yeah. You're too high? Yeah, too high. Oh, okay. there we go. Perfect. All right, so that's just another, uh, that's a next stage poster. Here we've got, these are cool. These are freaking cool. These are going to the office. Yeah. Oh, cool. let's, let's pull these up close a little bit. So there's two of them. These are Wartran Troopers posters. Um, but, uh, yeah. So there's one. They're all like a, like a comic. Go ahead, throw those aside. Pass with this. Yeah, these were these are super unique. They're they're old. You're you're they're, they're obscure. You're not gonna find something like that very easily these days. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have any any purpose for them in the game center. It'll probably just be one of the neat ones in the office at the warehouse. All right, this one looks like it's been uh, repaired. Uh, I think this is the U beat clan one. Stop, 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 stop. I'm trying to pull it out. Yeah, you beat plan. There we go. Right. Here's another Love Live one. I think this was the Love Live Cross. No, this is the, the, the used one. Okay. News. I'm sorry. There. I'll repack all this stuff later. Okay. Let's see here. Now after this, we'll decide what we want to keep and we want to open up and what we don't. Is this the crossover one? No, this is just the, another version of the next stage poster. about the last one. Yep. Yep. Good. Well, we got through this pretty quick. I was worried about uh, taking too long, but we'll start picking what we want to hang up after this. Put the rest of them away. This is probably another Love Live one. Of the vein. Oh, this is the Ongeki crossover one. Yeah, this one for sure I'm framing. Um, just because it is, you know, I don't have very much Ongeki related stuff as well, so. But, uh, yeah, that's that. We're going to clean this mess up. Um, we'll be back with a couple more boxes and, um, like some of this art, once it's up, we'll, we'll go walk through the game center and kind of show show all of it once we've got it set up so you can take a look at it. But uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back and uh, we're using this space here right now because the house is kind of a disaster if you've seen in a previous video. Um, actually, no, I don't think I've, I've done a video of the house yet, but the house is full of games. There's 15 blast cities in there and uh, yeah, there's just no space. It's kind of hard to move around here. I'm in the middle of resorting a bunch of stuff here as well. So I'm going to be doing it from this point. It also is easy. I actually had to drive this box around the back of the house to, uh, to get it here. Even. I, couldn't, I couldn't even walk it through the house. But also, just because I can you know, immediately turn this around, get it out in the trash and whatnot. So 
Anyway, we're using this space even though it's a little bit more cramped and there's there's shit like shit in the way and whatnot. But I'll I'll try to show what we've got as best as possible. Uh, there is some bigger banners in this batch that may be a little hard to show the whole thing of. So if I don't if I happen to not get it in in frame, you'll see it in one of the, the game center tours at some point. So anyway, um, if I can get through this stuff real quick, I will follow this up with another segment um, just because I've got like a bunch of stuff already lined up. I just don't know if I'm going to do it for this month or next month's video. So here, and this box is pretty well packed. I don't know how well you can see it in frame, but like it is really well packed and this batch, they only did um, one package. So that was pretty cool. It all, all fit into this one box. So first up, there's two pairs of side pop holders here, a Cinebuzz and Resident. Nothing unusual for my, my usual purchases there. There is a Sound Voltex 6 header pop there. Because, you know, I'm starting to, you know, like I just got in the Sound Voltex clearance caps, lots of them, and they were, you know, some are missing now, so I can, you know, that's just something to, to stock. They're a little more expensive than that I'd like to for that, but you know. Uh, some extra resident marquees, there's two of them. So hopefully, and, and, I, I, and I'll say this now even, like even getting these as much as I can, I'm still going to be short on marquees, not everyone's gonna get one, so you know, that's why I'm trying to fulfill as much as I can. I'm not really gonna, I don't wanna pull these out. I got a shit ton of these popping card binders because eventually I am gonna be doing up my collection of the cards. So I got a bunch of the official card binders. I've been meaning to get these for a while. Um, I do not have them all. I don't remember what all of them is, but I got a couple doubles um, just in case, you know, if I need them all. But at some point I want to I want to start doing this. I also, and I don't know, I don't know if any of them are in this batch or they're all in the next one, but I'm getting some of the card batches or card boxes or binders or whatever for um, Konkole and and uh, what's it called uh, Ongeki and stuff as well. So I'm just gonna start pulling some things up when, as we go. There's another another binder. This one's already opened. Um, no! Oh well. Uh, here is a QMA DAC. Just. Something I, I wanted and finally got. This is... Oh, this is probably mixed up. This is the uh, card ribbon for... Um, I, I guess it doesn't matter, but this is for... Conco yeah, Konkole and, and Card Maker. Um, there's, there's more of that is in here. Um, this is a tapestry, or a banner. A Love Live banner. I'll open this in a sec. Try to display the whole thing. Actually, what I might do is... Um, actually hang those up and then show them. Now that might be a better idea. Okay, we've got some posters, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, that might that might actually be other banners. We've got another, is this the third one? Yeah, this is another banner here. Um, some more, I would assume this is another 2DX marquee. I'm not, I'm not gonna open that. I think it's another resident, but pretty self-explanatory what it is. We've got here another box of poppin card stock, the the vendor cards. I'm just getting as much of that as I can right now. Um, eventually I'll do the collection and maybe I'll, I'll do a video on that. Ah, this is probably the other box that goes with the hollow um, strip. I'll bet you, unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong. There's actually, now that I think about it, there's supposed to... Oh, no, no, that, okay. One of these boxes is actually a, an Exa kit. Okay. Let's see here. Yep, that's just 600 uh, Concoli cards. So that'll go into the archive. I think right now, more than anything, I'm actually short on ink. Uh, more than cardstock. The cardstock has been easier to get than the, than the ink. So at some point, we're going to need to figure that out. One more box here, I think. This is very light. We'll see what's in it in a sec. I don't remember. 
off the top of my head. Let's see. Yep, nothing else in there. Throw this aside. Let's see what the small thing is. Ah, oh, yeah. Picked up more of these. I think this ended up being, the splash ended up being a double. So I'll give that to somebody. But it should be splash and original DX, I think. The, the like, the part that goes on the upper part of the monitor. Um, I've been, I, I found a method for displaying these. So I, I, I'd rather the, the regular one, not the DX, but these, um, I'm just collecting these while I can. Um, throw this over with the rest of the stuff that I've got for that. Um, let's open up this Exa kit real quick. This is Infinos Exa. Um, and actually, now I think about it, I'm not going to open it all the way. I'm going to save that for maybe another video when we go over all the new Exa stuff. At this point, I'm going to be probably getting a bunch of stuff from them for Evo. And I might just do a fun video on, like, everything. So, for now, there's the Infinos Exa, which, like I have mentioned before, any of that stuff that I've been buying off Yahoo Japan has been uh, cheaper than retail, which is nice, so. Um, you know, it's like, eventually, I think used Exa kits are going to become more and more common, but, like, even, even now, a couple years in on their life, it, it isn't. So, if I want to support, well support the platform at least, even if the money doesn't go directly into their pocket. Um, I'm trying to do that. Okay, so this looks like a banner. It is, which, ah, oh, this is okay. So this was something quite rare that I'd never seen before that I saw it came up and it you know, said it was a My My Tapestry and I've never seen something like that. So this is as much a tapestry as uh, we got a Project Diva one in one of the previous videos. Um, it's not technically a tapestry. It's it's like designed like a tapestry, but it's printed on like a really nice gloss paper. Um, and I think that Diva one's still flattening somewhere. I haven't found a way to get it hung up, but this was pretty cool. Uh, this would be from original Mai Mai. Uh, and I was really curious to see, you know, what it would come out to be, what size it was. And this is actually pretty big. This is probably a little big, B1 size or a little bit bigger. Um, but it's a pretty cute little banner, and I thought it was a neat thing to add. I was hoping it'd be an actual tapestry where I could, um, you know, hang it in the middle of the game center. But, like, the way it is, if it, if it uh, is going to curl like that, then probably not so easy. But I'll find a, a good way to put this up that it's not, like, in the way or anything like that. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But that was one that I was part, pretty excited about because it's it's quite um, unusual. Um, this one I'm even more excited about as this was a, a shop banner of some kind for Love Live that um, it, it mentioned, I think it mentioned something about how it has the shop name written on it. So like that, that alone makes it pretty unique, I think. So I don't know what it was for. But it was really cool, and I picked it up. Get this out and take a look at it. I don't think I have a lot of space over here by the web light to put up too much, but I'm going to try. Anyway, here it is. Oh, yeah, so it does. It says, uh, oh, it's, oh, that's cute. It's from, um, oh, wow. This was an arcade I used to go to. So it's, it's um, Hiroshima Eki Giga Zone. Um, I didn't go there very much, but it was, I remembered when I lived there, it was, um, it was the arcade, it, it was 45 minutes from the university, um, in Higashi Hiroshima, and, or in Saijo, rather, but, um, that was, they had a, an Animelo Poppin' Cab there, and it got played a lot more, so back then, Fever was, I'm, I'll try, I'll get this display while I'm at it, but, like, when, when Fever was out, uh, Fever Robo was unlocked cumulatively from the beginning of the game based on how much it got played. And um, so if you went to a location that got a lot of play, you could play Fever Robo 
way earlier than anything else. So like our arcade was maybe like a quarter of the way through the unlock and that place was already done. So that was the only place I could go to play Fever Robo. Um, but yeah, it was GigaZone right at the, the Hiroshima station, which is super cool. So this banner is pretty unique and um, pretty cool to get this. I wonder what it was for, if it was like for a promotion or a, a lope test. I'm gonna see if I'll probably get a zoom out of it later, but there you go. But uh, anyway, yeah, no, that's super cool, super unique. Um, here, let me pull it from back here and see if we can get a, a full. And uh, like the, the, I don't. There's not very many of these banners. I think that are that are ver like horizontal, or horizontal like this, or, or vertical, or whatever. So, yeah, that's nice to have a. The horizontal one. Um, the others are all vertical. So anyway, this other banner, and I'll try to display it now. I'm going to open it because I'm going to hang it at some point soon anyway. And uh, if it doesn't come out, I'll, I'll record a video later. This is another really big one that I don't already have. There's, and I've, I've also come to terms, there's going to be some that I'm just never going to get. Because um, there's just too many, and there's, there's not enough space to hang it all. This one's really big. Um... There we go. I'm just gonna kinda, whoop. Yeah, I'm more than likely gonna have to actually hang this up to, to show you the whole thing. It's pretty big. Yeah, whatever, I'll come back to this. That's that one. So, um, yeah, you know, I'll come back. And once I got that hung up, then I'll show it. And then maybe I'll decide whether we're going to do... Yeah, I think we'll do the, the next set of boxes after this, too. So we'll be right back, and uh, you'll see more stuff, and we'll, we'll see that banner hung up. Okay, so just real quick, I got uh, the banners hung. For now, I'm just hanging this off of Tycho. It's not the best place on Earth, but it works. Um, I was going to hang it over here, but right now, I kind of just like when the bay opens it, it hits it, so... Uh, all of this is kind of temporary stuff anyway. So anyway, I picked this spot for this banner, which looks you know, rather nice. I like it regardless, and it, and it works for now. Um, the second one. So like this was the old really long banner that I had, um, which is, is um, both sides. And, and this one... Uh, this is where I ended up deciding to put this one. We can get a look at the look at it in its entirety. There, it's pretty cool. And I ended up deciding to just at the end curve it around there in the back, uh, just because there's not really any convenient way to keep it going from there. One of the, one of the struts for the, the bay is, is there right now. And then the third one, right? Actually, I'm gonna walk up back over this way and. Uh, God, it's over here. And I'm just doing this now to get it, make sure I get it done, the stuff we're getting, because uh, the, the, my next set of packages were stuck in customs for a while and a bit of a pain in the ass to get a hold of them for. So anyway, this is where I decided to put the Mai Mai one. It's, uh, it, it fits there just right, and it's kind of what I was aiming for. It does cover a little bit of this poster, unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, that was the best spot for it. Um, the last thing was, is this was in the previous box as well. I just forgot to pull it out. This was actually not too expensive. This is one of the, I don't remember if it was a campaign card for Bomber Girl or something, but, uh, anyway, pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, and that's it. We'll be back once we get the, the next box in. Okay, we're back. This will be the last segment of uh, this box opening video. It's actually um, August 1st, but yeah, it's whatever. Like, oh gosh, we're, we're just freaking busy. Uh, these got held up in customs anyway. So um, anyway, I've got Peter here from uh, Save Point representing the East Coast crew. Um, <laughs> as as Eric's put it, I think, uh, give us the, uh, what was it? Show, show the Save Point... Um, Something. Uh, anyway. Something along those lines. Yeah, something along those lines. So anyway, he. This is your first box opening with us. You were you were briefly in one of our containers uh, oh, yeah. in the past, but uh, 
anyway, we we got I got you uh, all the stuff, and we went and I opened up everything um, in advance just to save some time because I know these videos get long and whatnot. So uh, yeah, go ahead, dig right in. I have not told um, Peter what all is in here yet, so no just idea. pull it, start pulling it all out. Okay. Um, we'll probably yeah, probably this first this big box is good first because then we'll put all the packing material back into it. Um, yeah. We'll need to break some of that stuff down and get it into the trash um, since tomorrow is garbage. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, first stack there is, um, is this? that is three um, Taito F3 motherboard uh, or cartridges. Oh, yeah, so it's uh, Tiger Heli 2, um, I think Puzzle, Puzzle Bubble, no, no, not Puzzle Bubble, um, Bubble Bubble 2 and 3. So okay. I have, I have, I only have like two motherboards for it, so eventually I want to get more, but like, so I just... I wanted to start picking up some more F3 carts. That's fair. Um, Good games. Probably too. no need to really open those right now. Maybe I'll we'll do something on it later. But um, true. Yeah, let's keep on going. Ooh, this one box. is um, a mystery box. I think I want to say I've gotten these before. These are that is more uh, paper stock for uh, Love Live. You can see there on the side. Oh, okay. Again, I want to say I've opened this before. This one's been opened, but like I think it was new. Should we open it? Um, I've been buying as much cardstock as I can. No, no, no real need. It's okay. just it's just a roll of paper and, and Oh really? Okay. And I wanna say I've I've imported that before. It's been on one of my containers or something. Control panel. Yep. Oh. So Magician's Dead, I've been picking up parts. This one was mainly not for the panel itself, but more um because it came with let's see if you can it through. I think it's not in this. No, this is just the panel. Uh, somewhere in there, there's a box that has one of the nunchucks and the, the motion sensor. So it had. You can leave that sealed. Okay. Yeah, I um, so. I, it's probably it might be that one or something like that. But there's more. Um, uh, more of the parts that are a little bit harder to find, and I'm just stockpiling the, piling those for eventually. That might be it. You might want to open that. This up. might be the magician thing. Yeah. Okay. Just grab that screwdriver. Oh, that, that works too. Fine. Yeah. And then the last two things in this box, I'm not even going to pull them out. Well, you'll probably, yeah, why don't you pull them out? The PCs? Um, yeah, just, yeah. we'll have to so we can put all the packing material in there. But it's two alls. I think there's like five or six alls in this batch. Okay. Um, I need to restock because I'm kind of out. That. So they're just standard. Heavy PC. Um, out of the HX. You oh. wonder why everything gets so expensive, you know? Yeah. So let's see what well, while you're pulling those out, we're gonna see it. Where'd you put the I'm gonna get this open? Oh wow, yes. There we go. So I think this is the other magician's head parts. Probably is at least. Because this is probably the part with the, the glass. Yep, yeah, so this is, um, I don't remember. Uh, maybe this one didn't come with the nunchuck, but okay. you know. anyway, you'll see more of this later. It's just the, the instruction sheet that's awesome. specific to it. Okay, go ahead, let's grab this box. Let's just dig right into this. I don't even know about that yet. So that is a spare Museka header, which I needed for my show cab because someone stole mine. And Who might that, uh, be? <laughs> that was Jace. <laughs> Literally, no, so the story on that, um, like it just disappeared off my show cab. And I know it was her. Like, I think she had joked about it for quite a while, and then it just disappeared, and I wasn't going to do anything about it, because, of course, like, I want her to have something nice. But you missed something, by the way. Oh, did I really? Huh? Yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, let's set this aside. I think there's a bunch of posters, so let's just kind of... Oh. Maybe we'll come back. And actually, I might want your hands uh, for that. We've also got Marv here from NorCal, who's helping out with the Evo Candy stuff, so... Uh, the man himself. Yeah. Why well, actually, why don't you get on in? Come on, yeah, dig in. Don't, don't let Peter have all the fun. I've opened two already. Come on, buddy. All right. <laughs> this one's you. Okay, yeah. Just Ooh. start pulling stuff oh, out. Yeah, there is. There is. 
So more 2DX side pops because um, again trying to fulfill as many people on um, on shipments or on, on like, the cabs as possible. So I'm just chuck that on the side. Oh, that's heavy. That's probably more alls. Poster? Small poster? Um, maybe. Let's set it with this. I guess these are the other computers, yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah, port. they probably. Let me let me just take a look. Um, stop up. moving. Um, actually, no. This is. Oh yeah, it is Waka. It is. Yes, yeah, it, oh. says, it says it's a Waka cool. PCB. So yeah, we'll just set that aside. I think these are the same. We won't even open these. I think for now. Um, yeah, if I happen to at the end of the oh, video, uh, no, a couple of these. Uh, I think uh, that's. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Open that all the way. You do the um, go ahead, pull these out as well, since these are gonna go to the warehouse. Those are okay. probably just, I think those are just the last three, last of the two, two five, ahead. yeah. And we'll throw those in the car. Uh, and I won't open those. If I happen to open them and they're something cool. else, like I'll, I'll follow up. But like, those are, those are just more of these. More of the same. Yep. Um, anything else in there? Sometimes really small items do get dropped and missed or whatever. I don't think, yep, no, I think we're good. Cool. Chuck this aside. These are card binders for Kankale. Ooh. Yeah. They're, they're super cute. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Fleet Girls Collection. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. So when I start nice. printing out more cards and whatnot, this will be a cool little thing to put nice. on the cab. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Custom. So I think there's two of these. Um, yep, there's just two. I think they're official product. Oh, there's another binder in here. What is there? Yep. That's the, what you were saying earlier. The, oh yes. This yeah. stuff here. So, go ahead. Whoever wants to open that up. I'll do it. And then that, I think, is just the last alls. Yeah. So that is a an original Chunathan marquee. Oh, really? I picked up for, for displaying. I, I, w I tried to bid on the other arts and stuff as well, but some someone with a little too much money and a little too much fervor got it. Still but the that'll go on display in the cab. Um, I was hoping to display the rest of the original arts, but oh nice. well. Yeah. Lime, limelight marquee, just again to put on display because I don't have one. Mm -hmm. And there. This is and this in. is the Ongeki card binder. You, uh, you want to open it up if you want. Because like, again, I'm going to put my cards in here too. Right now I'm using one of those pink binders over there. And that way I'll transfer it over and I can use the pink binder for other TCG stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like these have been around for a while. It's something I've known, but like I just never, never bothered buying one or whatever. I finally got one. Cool. Uh, awesome. Yeah. I think that's it out nothing of here. There is nothing else that we missed. Oh, another PC. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this stuff cleaned up. We're in the middle of Evo prep and I'm only doing this again so I can get this stuff in the trash right now. And But uh, yeah, we'll start loading this stuff up and uh, be on our way and we'll... I guess we'll see you in the next video. I've already shipped a ton of stuff for for next month to, or, you know, our August's video. But, uh, yeah, Pretty stay tight. tuned and look forward to it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, yeah, actually, no, we forgot these. So uh, I'm going to open these up. This should be three posters, two mini posters, one full size. If I remember right, these are like a half, B, half B2 size where they, like, cut it in half and it's more like a... Like a, like a banner or something. Um, so I was thinking about framing these together in one B2 poster. I'm gonna need your hands for this. Um, these are from Starring Paradox. So go ahead, grab the bottom end there. Mm. Or just, just have to pull it all the way down. Oh and boy. Hold it. Oh. So there we've got Shirley. And... Mm. Sadara from uh, Story and Paradox. I think they made one for all the characters, but um, you know, those were the two that were up, so I got those. 
Uh, just because like Starwing Paradox stuff is going to be hard to come by nowadays. It's just a, a neat item. Um, and since I'm basically, well, I'm not the only one that has them, but like I'm the only one that really put the effort into importing and doing anything with them. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the only one that's really uh, pushing it. I might as well have as much of the merchandise and art as I can for that. Um, and this one is a poster for a franchise that I don't really have posters for yet. Um, and that section of the game center has a very glaringly empty part of the wall. So I'm going to give you that. And uh, this is a Tyco, oh, mm. Tyco 12 poster. So uh, yeah, that'll go next to the Tyco machine. Awesome. And there's another thing here, which it might have come with it. It also says Namco. They put the tape directly on this poster. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah. That's whatever, it's on the back side. So I guess this is an extra thing for it. This also actually looks like the same thing. It's like a half B2 size one. So cool. Yeah, I'll put that up too. You got an advertisement. For oh, nice awesome. family poster yeah. there. That's cool. Okay, now that's actually it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I uh, have, uh, well, yeah, I don't know. We, we got some stuff coming, so we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. All okay. right, bye-bye.